Hello and welcome back to A Shot of Wildlife. Today, me and my new apprentice, Reva, are going to tell you about 10 of the common butterflies that live here in the UK. And where better to start than with the 10th most common butterfly in the country, the common blue. These are one of our smaller species, with a wingspan of just 28 to 36 millimetres and can be seen as adults from late May to early October. Males are always blue on the upper side of their wings, but in females, this changes from one place to another. In southern England, they're almost completely brown, whereas in Scotland and northern England, they are mostly blue. The undersides of the wings of both sexes are brown, peppered with black spots and a line of orange arrowhead-shaped markings. Common blues are typically found in grassland areas, including roadside verges, parks and cemeteries, wastelands and woodland clearings. Although they are the most widespread blue butterfly in the UK, they are not actually the most common. That place is taken by the next species, the holly blue. Looking at this butterfly, you might be finding it hard to spot the differences between it and a common blue. The backs of them both are very similar. But when you see the underwings, the differences are obvious. In holly blues, both males and females have pale blue underwings with small black dots. They are just a bit smaller than common blues, with a wingspan of 26 to 34 millimetres and are the earliest blue butterflies to emerge, being seen from late March all the way through to late October. Holly blues are often seen around gardens, parks, churchyards and along hedgerows and woodland rides, and although their caterpillars mostly develop on holly in the springtime, later in the year they are predominantly found on ivy. Since the 1970s, they have been gradually spreading northwards and are now widespread over most of England and well into Scotland and Northern Ireland. Despite its name, the eighth most common butterfly in the UK, the small tortoise shell, is significantly larger than the previous blues. They have a wingspan of 45 to 62 millimetres, with females being slightly bigger than males. Both sexes have beautiful orange and black markings on their upper wings, with a row of blue arrowheads outlined with black along their wing edges. Like a lot of the species which are yet to come in this video, their underwings are much less colourful. Adult small tortoise shells can be seen on the wing at any time of the year, including during the winter, and they'll often visit gardens. Their caterpillars feed on nettles, and as these can be found pretty much anywhere, so too can the adult butterflies. Another butterfly species whose caterpillars use nettles is the most uniquely shaped species in this video, the comma. With their lobed wings and brown and orange markings, they are unmistakable. Throughout most of the year, commas can be found around open woodlands and along woodland edges, but in the autumn, they'll visit a wide variety of places whilst they build up the energy to hibernate. To stay hidden during this hibernation, they have very camouflaged underwings, aside from a white comma-shaped mark. They have a wingspan of 55 to 60 millimetres, and although they did decline drastically in the 1900s, they are bouncing back and are now common in England and Wales and spreading throughout Scotland and Northern Ireland. Although the comma shape may be unique, I don't think there are many butterflies in the UK that have more striking markings than the peacock. This species is named after the four bright blue eye spots it has on its wings, which have evolved to confuse potential predators. The rest of their upper wings are colourful enough, with vibrant red, brown and black patterns, but underneath it is a different picture. They are very dark brown and well camouflaged. They have a wingspan of 63 to 69 millimetres and are strong flyers, visiting a variety of habitats but mostly being seen along woodland edges and visiting flowering buddleia bushes. Although they can be the most numerous butterfly in some areas, the meadow brown is currently ranked as the fifth most common in the UK as a whole. As their name suggests, they are brown over a lot of their upper wings with small patches of orange and a white dot within a black circle near the tip of each front wing. The undersides of their wings are camouflaged, although the white and black spots, alongside other black spots, 
can sometimes be seen from below. In England, they typically have a wingspan of around 50 mm, whilst in Scotland and Northern Ireland they are slightly larger, with a wingspan of around 55 mm. Adult meadow browns can be seen in a variety of grassland habitats and are on the wing from late May until September. In at number 4 is the first, but not the only, white butterfly I'm going to speak about, the small white. With a wingspan of around 48mm, these are white over most of their upper wings with one or two darker spots and small black tips to each of their forewings. The undersides of their wings are a yellow or creamy colour and adults can be seen from April until October. Small whites are often seen around gardens, parks and allotments and you may have heard of them being referred to as cabbage whites as they will often lay their eggs on members of the cabbage family. However, they are not the only species that is sometimes called a cabbage white. That name is also sometimes used for the large white for exactly the same reason. From a distance, these two species can be difficult to separate, although the large white is larger with a wingspan of 63 to 70 mm. In large whites, the black markings at the tips of their forewings spread almost all the way down their wings, and whilst males do not have any dark spots, females have two on each side. Their undersides are similar to small whites, although their two dark underwing spots are sometimes visible. The next species may look quite similar to the meadow brown, but this is actually a separate species, the gatekeeper. These have a wingspan of 40 to 47 millimeters, and although they will almost always have two white spots within a black circle on each of their forewings, their markings otherwise are quite variable. More than 10 different patterns have been recognized with different amounts of orange and black. Gatekeepers get their name as they are often seen in the taller vegetation around fence posts and will use the warmer post tops as basking and vantage points. They are on the wing from June to September and spend the rest of the year as eggs, caterpillars or chrysalises. And finally, the most common butterfly in the UK is the Red Admiral, which is quite interesting as these are the only species in this video which is mostly migratory. I say mostly as in recent years they have started to overwinter here in small numbers but predominantly they spend their winters in Northern Africa and continental Europe. Migrant butterflies arrive on our shore from March onwards and begin to breed and disperse northwards throughout the country, reaching as far as the northern tip of Scotland and Northern Ireland. They have a wingspan of 67 to 72 mm and with their black, white and red striped wings they are quite easy to identify. They can be found in pretty much all habitats, including the most urban cities and towns to the wildest mountains and coastlines. Migrating adults will begin to move south in the autumn and usually depart our shores by November. In this video, I have shown you the most common butterflies according to the 2023 Big Butterfly Count and if you live in the UK and would like to take part in the 2024 count, it's now active and I'll post a link for that down below. And that's all for today, but if you did enjoy this video then check out this one here on the screen for more British wildlife. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.